This is kind of a beta review. Why review a beta? Because I can't. I can't talk about this game without first talking about Konami and the whole Kojima thing. Konami's a shithole of company, let's get that straight. It's been like that for years. They've had this huge focus on pachinko trash long before they fired Kojima, so people just rush to downvote and hate on the game without even playing it. That's fine. You do you. I'm just going to say this. Konami still makes decent games, but they aren't for you, the gamer at home. They've had this huge focus on arcade games for the past few years, outside of Pachinko. It comes down to, at least for them, why bother spending millions of dollars on a game that's $60, when we can make arcade, mobile, and Pachinko games, and make way more money? That also kind of skips out on the whole, uh, making bad workers janitors, watching all of their movements with cameras, and a lot of other questionable things. All in all, it's just another cash grab with what they already have, alright? Alright. So, taking place in some weird alternate universe, you, a soldier sucked into a wormhole after Mother Base got attacked, because reasons that aren't explained in the beta, decided to defend a drill for some reason, on two maps, with very little enemy variation. I'm not going to talk about the character creator because I don't care about the character creator, but for what it is, it's fine. It's the same one from Metal Gear Solid V. You know, same game. I'm also going to gloss over the controls. It controls just like Metal Gear Solid V. Some of the controls are mapped differently, but it's still the same. The gameplay should always be the main focus of the game, at least in my opinion. Does this game hold up to MGSV? Well, the beta doesn't have a sandbox, and I don't really care enough to look up if Survive does. But yes, it does hold up to 5. It lacks mission variety, because there are only 2. But you know, so did Metal Gear Solid 5. All the missions were boring. The combat's solid. Metal Gear Solid. You have some new melee weapons that are kinda stiff when using them, as you're locked in position. By the sidestep. Just do it. Do it. You really need it. The other skills you're given are kind of boring. You know, RPG mechanics. The guns function the same as Metal Gear Solid V. That's about it. Combat, really. They have some pretty neat looking reload animations. I wouldn't say they're great looking. So you end up with some traps and barriers you can put up, as it is a tower defense game. Defending that drill and all. Those are pretty fun to play with, but none of them are anything special. You get like elemental floorings like ice, fire, oil, some auto turrets, some manual turrets, and that's pretty much it. Outside of throwables here and there like grenades. So you defend the drill for a set period of time, three waves from regular zombie, explodey zombie, armored zombie, and jumping zombie. There is another zombie. But he's just another exploding zombie that if you stealth kill, you can carve. Like Monster Hunter, a better game. Defending the drill, that seems like it's the main mission. Then you get some side missions during that mission to gather some boxes to give you mats for crafting, or an ammo table, or even a walker gear. The missions give a ranking all the way to S rank. The only way to S rank is to speed the drill up using the in-game currency you get by killing enemies. So you kill enemies, speed up the drill, keep the drill alive. Bonus, you can use that in-game currency to buy some supports, like Metal Gear Ray, to clear a way for you. That's all there really is to gameplay outside of crafting. You can craft your gear. Some gear like the chest piece and the starting pistol can have optional slots for them. Kinda like accessories. 
the chest piece has ammo pouches for your guns, and the pistol you can equip with suppressor, and a flashlight. The music as a whole is pretty forgettable at best, and the graphics are the same as Metal Gear Solid V. It looks good, but in the back of your head you're like, this is what you did with your engine? All in all, it's just a Metal Gear spinoff. It's an offensive. I know people who take offense to its existence because they're upset at Konami for firing Kojima, but it's less offensive than Metal Gear Solid Touch, which was developed by Koji Pro. It is what it is. A really okay game that exists because of its name. Kinda like Metal Gear Solid V. An okay game at best. Really good gameplay. Bland everything else. I really hope people try the game and see it for how it is, because it's not a bad game. Just a little out of touch, maybe a lot out of touch. But I'm sure Liquid Kojima meant no harm to Kojima and his legacy. He was just doing his job. So is it worth a purchase? Probably not. But it's not a bad game. It really isn't. But for 40 bucks? No.